In this research we propose and perform exploratory study of a novel architecture for monocular camera-based indoor navigation stack for a UAV. The Paradar Drone 2.0 has an onboard 1.2 megapixel camera, user defines a task, which the drone needs to perform it autonomously. We propose to use ORB2 SLAM for monocular vision-based sparse mapping of the environment and localizing it. We also intend to use a machine learning model to predict the depth based on monocular vice and to perform dynamic and static obstacles. Safety module is also used to ensure the safety of the user, aerial agents and all other assets. The autonomous systems takes in the input of all the subsystem and generates waypoints to a safe flight. The trajectory generator generates a safe and efficient trajectory and sent to the flight controller. The flight controller converts the trajectory to motion command. Since aerial robotic systems are agile in nature, we need powerful algorithms to fly autonomously. Our working case is under indoor environment, so GPS cannot be used as it high uncertainty in measurement under indoor conditions. So we use vision-based localization techniques to perform the task of localization. For the purpose, we use ORB2 SLAM for sparse feature-based localization and mapping. We also propose to use RRT STAR for 3D path planning and fifth-order cubic splines for trajectory planning. For localization in an indoor environment we use ORB2 SLAM. SLAM stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, a process where robot performs the task of mapping the environment, and also use landmarks in the mapped environment to localize itself. ORB stands for Oriented Fast and Rotated Brief, it is a performance-oriented feature descriptor. ORB2 SLAM uses ORB features and brute force-based matching to perform sparse monocular SLAM. It uses bag of words approach to perform keyframe matching and global loop closure. For the experiment we use Parrot AR Drone 2.0, which has onboard 1.2 megapixel with output rate 15 fps, downward facing optical flow camera for UAV stabilization. It also has a onboard EMU and sonar. This is the experimental setup. The R drone is flown over high texture carpet, as the drone uses bottom mounted optical flow camera to stabilize itself. Multiple Aruko tags are placed over the environment to increase the texture for better localization. We can see that the drone performs a predefined set of maneuvers and the SLAM node initializes as soon as enough features are found in the environment. Once the drone take off, the SLAM module tries to do feature matching and initialize new keyframes. Generally more the number of features more accurate the localization is. More accurate the calibration of the camera is more accurate the localization is. For validation through simulation we use Gazebo Simulator and TUM AR Drone Simulator package to simulate the task of localization in an unknown environment. Multiple objects were modeled. A real-time factor of 1.00 was achieved in Gazebo. Cones in the environment makes the environment more vibrant thus making it easier for feature extraction and SLAM initialization. Ground truth of position of AR Drone is stored and compared with the predicted trajectory. The predefined trajectory was predicted with definite certainty. And the drift is very less. Next we compare different trajectories to assess the performance of ORB2 SLAM. Case 1 we discuss the circular trajectory. We see a heavy drift in the localization. It is caused due to the sudden shift and less features to triangulate on. But system immediately identifies and adjusts itself in the next keyframe initialization. We also fix the maximum number of features and minimum number of keyframes needed for map initialization throughout the case study. Square trajectory had more accuracy in prediction as it had limited pure rotation case. Limited number of turns and effective feature initialization resulted in more accurate results. Finally a random trajectory motion was performed and compared to ground truth. We can see that there is a significant drift when the UAV rotates in a stationary point. This is considered to be the major drawback of ORB2 SLAM. Next, we perform trajectory and path planning in a simulated environment. Quadrotor Python simulator was used to simulate and verify the algorithms. RRT star was used to path plan between the start and the end goal. Fifth order cubic spline was used to create smooth and safe trajectories between waypoints. Trajectory controllers were used to simulate the UAV. Helix and circular trajectories were chosen as the fundamental trajectory. In this simulation the UAV rotates about a point with a radius of 1 units and in case of helix it rotates and moves up for 1 unit radius as well as height. Multiple world configurations were created. RRT star explores the space and creates waypoints to the end trajectory efficiently. All the cases that are shown had successfully passed the testing. 
RRD star also requires very less computational requirement and takes very less time to identify a suitable and safe path. ORB2 SLAM is found to be an effective localization technique in an indoor environment using a monocular camera. It has low computational requirements and highly effective under high textured environments. Only drawback is under very fast pure rotation. The SLAM fails to match features and also fails to relocalize itself. RRD star and fifth order trajectory planners were found to be an effective solution for the work case. Meshing-based SLAM like Kamara, needs to be explored for the work case as sometimes sparse-based mapping can drift. Safety module must be implemented to ensure safety of operator and all other assets use visual inertial odometry to solve the lost track due to pure rotation use keen dynamic modeling for efficient trajectory generation.